in the Karakoram mountains of northern Pakistan lives an elusive beauty. Its shy nature, few numbers and treacherous habitat makes it the holy grail of wildlife filmmaking. But with the help of incredible people and a passionate pursuit, I witness the incredible. But what I experience is something I had never imagined. The snow leopards are in deep trouble. In the extreme north of Pakistan lies one of the highest altitude national parks in the world. An area of over 2000 square kilometers spread over the mighty Karakoram range. It is a place of extremes. An inhospitable abode. For snow leopards, this is home. I am Abdullah Khan, a wildlife filmmaker. Joining me is Hussain Ali, a veteran conservationist. We start in early winter. The enormity of the task soon strikes us. This is not going to be easy. The area is huge and snow leopards are few and far between. The secretive ways of the cat and its superb camouflage only adds to our hardships. On the bright side, I have Hussain Ali Khan as a mentor and guide in this impossible place. He has spent all his life in these mountains. He knows the cats well. A vital competency if we are to film one. In order to find a snow leopard, we have to pick up every clue that the nature has to offer. Studying not only the signs that snow leopards leave, but also keeping a watchful eye on the animals that are linked to this apex predator. Such as the Himalayan ibex. These wild goats are the main prey species of snow leopards in this part of the world. With a head for heights, these wild goats navigate the sheer cliffs with ease. The rubbery soles on the hooves give them a firm grip. We follow the herds in anticipation that a snow leopard will follow. Our eyes in the sky are the golden eagles and lamagar vultures. Aided by the uprising currents of hot air, also known as thermals, they can easily locate and guide us to a snow leopard kill. It has been three weeks of relentless searching and we have not had a glimpse of the cat, let alone film one. We have to keep pressing on though, cover as much ground as we can because the phantom we are after is on the move all the time. The golden eagle does guide us to a snow leopard kill but only so much. It has been abandoned by the cat. Fox also has a curious relationship with snow leopards. It follows them around to grab an opportunistic meal. 
we've been bumping into foxes quite a lot recently, which is considered a good omen in this part of the world. There, not one, but a couple of beautiful snow leopards. Already bewildered by the sight of two snow leopards, a third one joins the couple. A single mum with her two fully grown cubs. The mum leads the cubs away from us. Probably as much surprised as we are by the chance encounter. Life is difficult for a single snow leopard mother. She has to raise these cubs all by herself. That means hunting frequently to provide for the cubs. And that often brings them in contact with the ultimate apex predator. Humans. Life for them is difficult too in this cold and arid world of thin air. Though some of us may look very cute, it is the people that pose the greatest danger to snow leopards. This part of the snow leopard country is relatively modern. A lot of people have moved on to new ways of life. But ancient ways of living still survive. Livestock serves as the main source of income for many families. And it is when snow leopards attack their livestock that they fall prey to retaliatory killings. We have been informed of a snow leopard attack on livestock. On this occasion, a snow leopard managed to sneak into a corral through an opening in the roof. And has killed a staggering 35 animals. The owner, Mizaman, is of course not happy about it. Pele 
लेकिन आप खुद सोचो कि आप खुद बोलो कि भाई क्या तुम आपको ऐसे अगर ये नुकसान हुआ तो आप क्या करेंगे जब मुझसे मत पूछो आप क्या कहेंगे It is indeed a very perplexing situation for these people. Should they not harm the legally protected snow leopard or save their livestock? Between 2008 and 2016, one snow leopard has reportedly been killed every day. Retaliatory killings by the herders account for more than half of all snow leopard killings. I never had any idea that the future of a cat so precious could be in such jeopardy. Having filmed snow leopards once, it doesn't seem impossible to film them again. Possibly get close to the cat and film intimate behavior not just a chance encounter one way of doing that would be to find a fresh snow leopard kill and it is one of those few times that it stays in one place there is no doubt that these are the hunting grounds of snow leopards They do make kills here. We just need to find one. The strategy is simple. Cover as much ground as we can. But it has been proving difficult to implement. Temperatures have fallen to excruciating degrees. The world around us is half frozen. The river has become inaccessible to those who want to drink from it. But it hasn't snowed yet. A turn of events. This is something we've been eagerly waiting for. This fairy land of a landscape exposes the animals and their whereabouts. We have a few days of filming left. It is now a race against time. We are beginning to see more and more signs and kills of snow leopards. The male ibexes are obsessed with females. is most likely that a snow leopard will make a kill. Exactly after a month of filming the snow leopard family, we find a fresh kill. And the owner male snow leopard Now that he's not aware of my presence I'll probably get those close and intimate shots This is a fresh kill and he should come down to gorge on it But against my belief he climbs up As soon as he looks at the overhanging rock I realize what is going to happen next
scent marking. But then, something unexpected. He picks up the scent of a female, probably the one we filmed a month ago, as we are in the same territory. Her cubs have grown and maybe she's ready to mate again. After all, this is the start of Snow Leopard's breeding season. In addition to scent marking, the snow leopards communicate with each other by leaving scrape marks on the ground. These markings are a vital component of the snow leopard's life. Resources in these mountains are meager. Maintaining a territory is crucial. Extra large paws, powerful chest, wide nasal cavity and a long tail to counterbalance enable this creature to carve out a living in these rugged steep mountains with little oxygen. A point well made when the cat is slowed down. Stout and proud, the scars on the face are a manifestation of the cat's struggle to rule this patch of mountains. Look into those beautiful grey eyes and one cannot help but fall in love with this gorgeous creature. All clear, he comes down to feed. The carcass, however, is frozen solid to the ground. It will take three to four days for the snow leopard to consume this prey, feeding every few hours. When he has his fill, he covers the carcass and leaves. Being so close to an animal with a mythical status is a real privilege. The feeling is hard to put in words. Mitchell Kelly puts it this way. The snow leopard is like a siren. It is so beautiful, it sort of seduces you. Once you have seen it, you want to see it again. And when you have seen it again, you want to see it again. 
I want to see it again and I want the future generations to see it. Will it happen? Depends.